What's going on there, everybody? Uh, let's see here. I'm going to strike at the obvious. I'm going to get right into this. Um, there's a lot of people nowadays calling people with scams. The IRS scam, the tax scam, the um, you're going to be arrested scam, you know, the Social Security Administration, the U.S. Government Grants Department. Even now, they've got mortgage scams where people call you with, uh, oh, we, we want to help you refi them with this. It's all phishing scams, okay? If you didn't call anybody, don't give out your information. You know, if you didn't initiate the call, and this is how I say it, if you didn't call an actual company that you're intending to call, if you're just calling back on one of these phone numbers, then that's, you know, that doesn't qualify as you initiating the call. Um, don't ever give out your personal information. Just plain and simple. I know there's a lot of people out there like, oh well, yeah, I already know this, but there's a lot of people that are easily tricked and these these scams prey off the, the gullible. They pray off the old, they pray off the gold wall, because they come in with these intimidation factors and all this crap. Alright? Half the time, none of these places that they're pretending to be will ever call you, and the other half of the time, well, you know, they're just scam calls. Um, rule, you know, rules of thumb here, I don't even give out my name. You know, I, I'll play, you guys seen in my videos, I'll play with these people, I'll give them John Smith, John Doe, whatever. Um, I won't, I, I won't give out my name. If they already have my name, then uh, it is what it is. I mean, you can public records, all kinds of crap. You can public records, my name, my address, all that shit, because I own a house. Your name goes into the public hat at that point. Same thing with automobile stuff and whatnot, but I'm not going to volunteer the information to people. Um, never give out your address, never give out your driver's license number, although these people haven't asked for any of that shit. They want your name, your address, and your social security number, uh, because they want to steal your identity. Or they want your bank account information or your credit card information so that they can wipe you out on that stuff. Steal your money. All this stuff is about stealing your money. That's what this is all about. And these, these guys make millions of dollars a year in this shit. I mean, I can't believe that there's that many people that bite into these stupid scams. You know, we, 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 the whole purpose of me doing these videos is to kind of publicize this stuff to get it out there so that people know, hey, look, don't get tricked by this shit. The more and more we publicize this stuff, the more, the, the less of an opportunity these scammers are going to have to take advantage of somebody. So, um, yeah, I mean, it kind of is what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm common sense here. I don't give out my information even to people that I do deal with, <laughs> you know, unless I have no choice and I have to, but... But most of the time, I won't give out my social security number, I won't verify my address, I won't do none of that crap. The only time I'll do any any of that stuff, and even that, they usually only ask for the last four of your social, is when I deal with my bank. And I get that. That's for security. The only person that's supposed to have that number is me. I don't even give it to cops. I give them my driver's license, they can go run that shit all day long. I won't give a cop my social security number either. They can pull your, you up by name and date of birth. They don't need your social. Not to mention they have computer systems now. They give them photos so they can even get a photo when they pull the name up and look. And, hey, is that this guy or no? You know, That's why you shouldn't lie to police, especially about who you are. Because they're going to run that name and it's going to either come up with you or somebody else or nobody. So, I'm going to keep this video short. Um couple of tips, you know, there's a couple of tips about uh, dealing with scammers. This is the plague. I get about four or five of these calls every day. Uh, I just got one. Uh, the big one going out right now is the uh, cruise ship travel scam or the uh, employment education opportunity scam. There's that one too. I got one of those about 10 minutes ago. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. There's lots of great content. Um... And share the hell out of this video, please. Get the word out there. Let everybody know, hey, look, these people are scams. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.